While the Walt Disney stock price continues to plummet, someone is buying into the company, and that someone is new board member James P. Gorman, formerly of Morgan Stanley and currently one of Iger's biggest defenders and also the man who's going to help figure out who the next CEO of the Walt Disney Company is. Let's see if his bets are correct, or at least let's talk about it here on That Park Place. Hello, I am Jonas J. Campbell, an investigative reporter for That Park Place, and here with me is avid soda drinker, Mr. Culture Casino. Culture, how much soda did you have today? Zero. I don't oh. drink soda pop. I Coke drink, zero? No, I drink, I drink water, and I drink tea, and I drink coffee. Those are all good. Those are all good. I do like the soda, but uh, we're, we're not here to talk about soda. We're here to talk about Walt Disney Insider. Uh, really, we're only talking about one insider placing a bullish bet worth 2.2 2 million. I'm, I'm going to spoil it for you here. One of these insiders is 2.21 million and the other one is about 400,000. It's really not that much money. So uh, <laughs> here we are. In the last year, multiple insiders have substantially increased their holdings in the Walt Disney Company. Again, one insider has substantially increased his holdings, indicating that insiders' optimism about the company's prospects has increased. While insider transactions are not the most important thing when it comes to long-term investing, we do think it is perfectly logical to keep tabs on what insiders are doing. Culture, let me ask you right here, why would someone write an article about one person within the Walt Disney Company buying more stock? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Reason one would be they think this is a very influential insider that may, you know, someday end up in the, the big chair or because uh, Disney asked them to. That's a very good point. Both of those are reasonable assumptions. In the last 12 months, which is funny because it's definitely been less than 12 months, the biggest single purchase by an insider was when insider James Gorman bought 2.1 million worth of shares at a price of 106 per share. What does that tell us immediately here? First of all, James Gorman, new board member. Second, that's a lot of stock. And uh, what does the price tell us as far as timeline? This was an error on his part. Oh, no, I mean, error. Uh, no, honestly, he thought that the absolute bottom was 106 and uh, thought that there was nothing but up. Uh, I, I think you're probably right. Uh, looking at the stock price right now, it's a, it's I think it's below 103 now, is it? It might have gone up. I, I don't know. Again, no, no financial advice ever on this channel. Do not take financial advice from either of us as uh, YouTubers here. Don't get your financial advice from YouTube. Go see, uh, you know, one of those people that's like certified and also active acting in a certified capacity. Yeah, the stock the stock price is pretty low for Disney at the moment. It's mm -hmm. it's 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 the lowest it's been for uh, a few months, starting a very precipitous drop as soon as it was discovered that Nelson Peltz would not be uh, getting a seat on the board of the Walt Disney Company. That just happens to be. I'm sure it's a complete coincidence that the the market started to slide for Walt Disney about that same time. By the way, uh, the S and P 500 up since then oh yeah so it's it's not a market force well, that's uh, I, I, pushing I, it in that direction can, can we not say that the dow is up in fact the whole market weren't they setting records you know that, that 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 could be the case you know usually when we talk about the movement of the stock we then have to compare it to the market itself disney used to have was it a low beta meaning it was highly correlated to the market itself but now well, i'll i'll, I'll so step enough. out and say yeah i'll step out and say this is a blue well was a blue chip stock that would be the fancy way to say Ooh, blue chip. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's a way to think about it. And they want to be thought of as a tech stock, but mm, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. They're really a well, theme park and entertainment stock, which entertainment I, stocks right now not doing so hot. I think Iger wants to think of the company the tech stock because he wants to get paid like those guys. But hey, right. And there, there were activist investors who, not Nelson Peltz, uh, but uh, the other guy, Jason Aintabi from Blackwell's Capital, that wanted to think about it as a tech stock. So his solution to everything was. AI and a, a a holodeck and things like that. It, I'm I'm oversimplifying what he was saying, but he really wanted to go hard on the technology aspect here. But uh, James Gorman is is one of the most recent additions to the board of the Walt Disney Company. He comes from Morgan Stanley, uh, not to be confused with J P Morgan. It's very confusing because his name is J B Gorman. Or is it JP? It is JP Gorman, isn't it? And uh, not to be confused with the guy over there at uh, JP Morgan Chase. What what was his name, Culture? Jamie Dimon. Now, he also played into the proxy battle in some way. Yes, he he, he was amongst the folks that decided, hey, let's support Iger and the current uh, people running the company into the ground. 
That's right. And he also happens to be on the board of JP Morgan Chase with oh. uh, Melody Hobson, who, oh, yeah. you know, uh, who's she married to again? She's, she's married to George Lucas. And George oh, Lucas yeah. also wrote a letter in support. Yeah, and you've got a letter yeah. and you've got a letter and you've got a letter to quote uh, the great American comedy clue of course also uh loreen powell jobs also in support of bob Iger here uh james gorman he's he's a fascinating hire there's a clip that we often play on this channel and i'm i'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and play it because i'm not gonna pretend like it's not on my mind this one right here well they're forming a succession committee which i'll be joining so i'll be able to it's a bit of a slip of the tongue there on his yeah. case or maybe he just doesn't care about the uh, politics that preceded him there at the walt disney company when Bob Iger got back to the Walt Disney Company after his brief 11-month hiatus, as he personally described it. He said that his top priority was finding a successor. James Gorman only got on the board of the Walt Disney Company uh, three months ago, two months ago, so even shorter than that. Yeah, it, it, it hasn't been very long. and it, it, Within 120 days, which is also funny if you look at the last 12 months of insider transaction. Yep. Yep. One thing about James Gorman being added to the board, uh, he is, in my opinion, he's a he's a decision that I'm OK with if he becomes the CEO of the Walt Disney Company. I don't think he's a perfect fit, but he's a numbers no. guy. He's an investment banker. He probably would make some smart decisions from a financial perspective. So I got to say, not the most snazzy pick if he was the CEO of the company. But I, I think that there's a case to be made for someone less glamorous getting that job for a little while and may, maybe maybe leaving the studios to actually uh, be run by the studio executives instead of well, Bob I, Iger. I, I would say that that's a bad choice uh, uh, there. I mean, Bob uh, has let the studio execs run the studios and we ended up with terrible Star Wars, terrible Marvel and terrible many other things I'm are you sure. sure about that culture though I'm i seem to sure. remember there was an executive outside of all those studios that 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 said that he watches all of their big films maybe five times sending yeah. back notes yeah, that that would be Iger, uh but he can watch everything he wants the way he had the company structured and the way he returned to the company structure uh is to letting the studio heads run things in fact you know as pro pointed out in a recent video he went out of his way to empower uh who's the marvel guy kevin feige or, yeah, or is it louis desposito i no, i forget no, no, which one of them they're gonna uh, blame next yeah well it's yeah well they'll blame desposito but it's definitely feige and you know I, I mean they, he let feige run wild because he what did he do he got rid of ike perlmutter so everything that would have been counter been a counter to what Feige wanted to accomplish was now free reign for him, and that that's that's a real problem, and it's it's shown up in spades for uh, for Marvel. But look, he the whole purpose of what um, Chappic was doing with DMED was to try to uh, bring accountability to the studio heads to have shorter contracts and everything. In fact, one of the most eloquent ways it was put was in a very recent WDW Pro video. That's a very good point. So let's return here to the yeah. $2.1 million worth of shares that were uh, purchased here. That mm -hmm. is more than the amount that a, uh, a board member would receive in cash mm -hmm. there. I think they're, they're around the half a million mark, maybe probably less than that, that they receive on an annualized basis. So this is actually Gorman doing what, what Nelson, when Nelson Peltz came in, first of all, I, he said it was a positive thing that James Gorman was added to the board. He didn't think it was enough. He wanted to see it himself, but he did think that it was a good thing that Hugh Johnston came in as CFO and that James Gorman was added to the list of people. He wasn't going after James Gorman's seat. He was going after Mary Alina Lagavacino's seat. And uh, as far as lack of popularity uh she was the least popular of the uh board members as far as uh investor sentiment well indeed because she was the one deciding on these terrible compensation agreements that's true that's yeah. that's very true and and uh pelts did a pretty good job of pointing out that those pay packages were uh were not exclusive to disney she was she was doing exorbitant pay packages in other instances here so this is a large amount of stock this is about anywhere between eight and four times how much uh, Gorman would be paid on an annual basis for his investment for his time at Disney. And also, it seems that he is going to be picking the next CEO. So yeah. this is a good sign. And a board member actually being invested in the company is a good thing. And it is a it seems to be a response to Peltz. The The other person in here is uh, Sonia Coleman. She got uh, four hundred and sixty six thousand dollars 
in shares. Uh, we've been tracking that. It's it's a small amount, but uh, I, it's a funny thing to say that half a million in shares is a small amount. But uh, she's the chief HR officer of the company, and um, she has a long history that we've talked about in other videos on the uh, WDW Pro channel yeah. here. So the thing that I, I I just want to round this out by 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 asking here is, do you think that this is a good thing? Is this Gorman acting on his own and he's on the board and he wants to invest a large amount? Is he setting a new trend for other board members or is this just a one off? It's a, it's a fluke. What do you think here, culture? Well, I, look, he, he obviously has, uh, you know, thoughts of upward movement in the stock. Uh, he may have taken some of what Iger said uh, to heart, which uh, we all know probably wasn't a good decision, or he understands that it's a bad look for the board not to be more invested in the company. And it's, it's, it's a bad look for executives not to be more invested in the company. It's like they know something isn't right. And at any moment, the stock price could plummet. And I think that that what he's trying to do is rather telling is change the story around it. Because one of the stories that our good friend Nelson Peltz was telling uh, was that uh, there's no real investment in the people that are making these decisions. They are not invested in the company whom they're deciding the fate of. And, you know, he's not wrong. I mean, one of the people that brought that to light, obviously, was Elon Musk. He's a huge fan of Bob Iger. And so is Bill Ackman, who also sort of mentioned perhaps maybe things would be run better under pelts. But I could be wrong. Uh, you're, you're very right. And and so far, Gorman's investment has gone down, I want to say, by about $60,000 uh, since he's mm. purchased it, which is is a, is a small amount in the in the scheme of things. But I want to throw this to our commenters and our uh, viewers here. What do you think about this situation? Is it, first of all, do you think James Gorman would be an excellent CEO of the Walt Disney Company, or uh, or or as I'm pouring honey in your ear to say, he's fine. He's fine. I like him. I think I think he, that he is probably uh, a grown up in the room, which is something that the board has not had for quite some time. I'm not saying that the people on the board aren't grown ups. I'm just saying in their function as board members of the Walt Disney yeah. Company. I, uh, they're, they need to function as more than just a rubber stamp for whatever Bob Iger's ideas are. I agree. And I look to me, he just sounds like he'd be perfect to be on a Star Destroyer for the Empire. So. <laughs> are you saying about Bob Iger or James Gorman? No, James Gorman, but it's fine. No, that's fine. He he would be one of the respectable guys uh, in the Empire, the, the ones you sometimes see in those extended universe novels. Well, that being said, uh, thank you so much for watching to this point. Like this video if you like this video. Go go subscribe over there to Culture Casino and uh, go bug him about the uh, That Park Place gaming channel that we uh, need to be premiering sometime in the next uh, few weeks here. Ooh. And uh, subscribe to That Park Place for all the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.